Hello, this is Jeff with Reef Dynamics, and I'm here to do an overview of our model CMR125E calcium reactor. You can see the unit here. It's on our testing bed, making sure that everything's perfect on it. So I will walk you through it piece by piece. The configuration of the reactor is recirculating, so you can see here the intake at the top and the discharge in the bottom. Uh, carbon dioxide gas is introduced here from your CO2 tank goes to the bubble counter so you can monitor the number of bubbles going through the gas mixes with fluid gets sucked down into the pump shredded inside the pump and injected into the bottom where it's diffused um, the media that we recommend for this reactor is the Carib C arm large or medium or sometimes they call it coarse they change names from time to time um, and that'll give you the optimal results I don't recommend anything smaller and I specifically do not recommend mixing media sizes um, on that note, another thing I do not recommend is mixing media types. I don't recommend mixing calcium or calcareous based media like coral, sand, and then a magnesium uh, based media because uh, you're going to run into packing issues, dissolution rate differentials, and uh, problems. So um, magnesium needs to be done in a separate reactor. Anyhow, so once the, the recirculating loop is, is uh, intact and configured and the gas is introduced, as the bubbles rise up, through the media, of course, they're going to acidify the water, and the media will start to dissolve. And once the bubbles get to the top, inside here, this lid, this lid is, is cone-shaped. So it's got, it comes on an angle, and it forces all the air and water into this middle section right here, in the middle of the lid. And what this is, is this is a special two-way valve. It's, it's, um, it serves two purposes. When you first set the reactor up and there's extra air in there, you can use this valve to bleed off that gas because, of course, it rises all the way to the top in this section. And so here you see that water flowing at full speed. Now, once the reactor is bled from excess gas, you can flip this valve the opposite, to the opposite side, 100%. What that does, you can see bubbles getting in there, that recirculates carbon dioxide gas that flows to the top. So as residual CO2 bubbles float and collect in the top, they can be distributed back down into the reactor through this CO2 recirculation inlet. If I can focus that on there. There we go, CO2 recirc inlet. And that just makes it so that the gas gets recycled instead of uh, getting blown out into the system. Uh, here's where your supply water is connected. So you can see it's a 3 8 inch uh, quick connect fitting, and that goes right into the sump where you're pulling your water out. So anyhow, this two-way valve is really cool. The other nice thing is, is you can adjust this two-way valve down. You don't have to have 100% flow. You can have it off for no CO2 research or very slightly open. Um, you can also look inside this tubing. You can see bubbles going through it if you have gas recirculating in the system. So I think this is a great design. I've never seen another reactor with a bypass like this. And, of course, when it's in research mode, there's no fluid coming out of this tube, so you never have to worry about leakage. You can Actually, you can just disconnect it from that point right there. So anyhow, so that's the CO2 research. Here is your outlet. We have that labeled as well, product water. And this water comes into this needle valve. This is a special needle valve. It's a custom valve by SMC. And it's a 45 de uh, degree angle gate valve. And it offers really, really fine tuning of uh, fluid leaving the reactor. And we can open this valve up a little bit here. And you can monitor the fluid leaving. So here's the flow with the valve relatively wide open. Let's see if I can get this in this position where you can watch it while I do this. So there's the flow, and then if we take in, oh, that's good. So as we slow, as we clamp this valve down, you can watch that flow change way down, way, way, way down to where it's either, get it there. So it's off now, so you can do your drips. And I recommend for our reactors this, where the drips just turn into a stream, right about there. Let me back it up just a hair. That's what I like to see, right in there. And I, I find a little higher flow rate works well with these reactors because the CO2 research keeps the uh, the water inside the reactor pretty low in pH, you know, down to, in the 6, 3, 6, 5 range, which is about as low as you can get in these reactors. Of course, we do recommend using the pH probe holder for your pH probe. Uh, you really should have one on the reactor controlling the CO2 going into the CO2 feed and then a separate probe monitoring the pH in the tank um, so that the pH drops below your set point, 8.2, 8.3, it'll shut off the CO2 to the reactor. Of course, that's going to stop cal um, calcium dissolution, 
but it's also going to maintain your um, pH in your system, which is really important. Um, other system highlights, product highlights are, you know, of course, everything is hand welded as usual. It's all PVC, uh, solid PVC rod and sheet stock, um, all heavy duty Schedule 80 fittings. Um, and then, of course, my favorite feature of all is our jam lock. Adding media to this reactor is very, very simple. All you do is unplug the pump, unscrew the jam lock, and add your media, top it off, put it back on, bleed off the excess gas, put it back on to research, and you're back in action again. So it's super easy to use. Um, of course, that's our, one of our big MOs here is we want things to be easy to use. And uh, while calcium reactors are one of the products that are a little more finicky and require a little more finesse, we've made all those parameters as easily adjustable and maintainable as possible. So if you have any questions at all, I hope to hear from you. You can email me at sales at reefdynamics.com or you can call 707-733-3411 and we hope to talk to you guys soon. Thanks and have an awesome day.